Insecurity and restoring of peace have been Nigeria issues for years now, even before General Buhari administration. Killings, kidnapping occurred daily, especially the northern part of the country. But President Buhari made a promise in the year 2015 to tackle Boko Haram and other crime groups. As we speak, no strong action has been taken, which made Nigerians to voice out enough is enough as they request uh, for the sack of service chiefs who failed to do their work. Not only the citizens are on, the, on this demand, but the Senate also asked President Buhari to sack the service chiefs who they said are bereft of new ideas to tackle insurgency. So it's gathered that some Nigerians are planning a coup which made Renu Omokri to react. He said Buhari won't fire service chiefs because he hired them to provide regime security. Does planning a coup should take place? He wrote, shots of being caught red-handed planning a coup. There's nothing the service chiefs can do that will make General Buhari fire them. Buhari did not hire them to provide national security. He hired them to provide regime security and they are doing just that. Hashtag Zambamari Massacre. Hmm. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, nothing we are not going to be hearing. Well, to be specific, Buhari hired them to provide full and aimed support when needed. The security services are full Fulani is to protect Fulani interests nationwide. They also function as occupying forces in the south to suppress any threat to Fulani domination. The coup that didn't that did not happen when Boko Haram killed Nigeria soldiers and the burial was done secretly. Is it now that it will happen? The army chief is just trying to distract his failure. There is a cover up at Asso Rock that our service chiefs are aware of is keeping them to maintain is cover once they are sacked there will be an opera at the villa well there's wisdom in this statement of a yours mr reno or mockery i knew something is fishy fishy is really going on they are called fulani uh, crazy security chiefs it is so sad that this reason why they are still being kept is just to protect uh, the regime not because they want to protect the so-called country of course, uh, Buratai came out and began to tell us, ah, it was warning the generals that uh, some politicians are approaching them to do this and that. And a lot of people have come out to say that there is nothing of such that is just trying to distract Nigerians. He's just trying to put up all of those things so that Nigerians will begin to look at the other side of the, you know, or, uh, to be looking at the other way. But uh, Nigerians are more are wiser now. The most important thing, of course, even if uh, they change the service chiefs, Definitely, they are still going to put some people. They are not going to bring uh, outsiders. They are still going to bring people within the, 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 the people that Buari is used to. Because he said he, he always loves to work with those he's familiar with. But at the end of the day, those he said he is familiar with. They are not even doing. They are not performing. The way they ought to, they are not performing. So for ah uh, well. <laughs> I think at, at this juncture, Nigerians will still be looking onto God because Nigerians have they have spoken, they've talked, and somebody who is supposed to be patriotic, who is supposed to be the leader, is not doing what is expected of him, and it's so adamant. But there's something really wrong in that Asuro. Something is really, really wrong. To the extent that the president cannot even speak to the people, he cannot even grant interview. Who does that? If this man, the man is here and healthy, then why are they really protecting him or guiding him away from that? It's unfortunate. What? Uh, the big questions are is that do you think Buari would ever sack his services? I don't think so. I don't think so. Unless something drastic will happen. And that is one of the things that this man is just trying to put up to us that oh, some people, especially politicians, are working or trying to approach the generals. Well, Mr. Ren Omokri, you are absolutely correct. People clamoring for change of service chiefs are wasting their time. Buari is dead. Service chiefs are ruling. This man has, said, has told you, told Nigerians that don't just waste your time. Even if they change the services, that the Boko Haram, whatever, we still continue. Not that he's trying to protect his own job. That was what a, a Brutai told us some months ago, and he's been coming out to emphasize on that. And immediately he said, this whole thing might even still linger for another 20 years. Worry can be very stubborn, especially when it comes to doing things that will favor the people's interests. 
what's inside reno i couldn't agree more everything now makes sense but the incompetent president violates the law by keeping them not that the gangster of a president cares about the um societies or the rule of law and good governance anymore they don't care uh he can keep them ever but i know this chicken hearted bread and butter generous one we give accounts of all they have done Baba Buhari used the crying crying in 2011 to deceive Nigerians to enter one chance in 2015, saying that if I become president, the security, um, the security, employment, health, good road, light power, education, and so on will be better, but nothing for Nigeria. APC is no, is not a good party to be followed. And now they are even rejoicing this year by election that took place yesterday that in all the four states. APC won and they are celebrating that victory. Give them the power. What are they doing with it? That is exactly what we are seeing. And a lot of people are really like, like seriously, that people still went to go and vote for them. But unfortunately, even if you are going to vote for other parties, because they are, they are interwoven, even if you are going to vote for PDP, what is the assurance that uh, these people are ready to do better? Because they, 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 they almost have the same template. The foundation of this country is faulty. And they always they are all riding on it. Which politicians are you talking about? Is it the same PDP that you vote for? They will still go back again to APC or the APC that will still go back to PDP. What are we talking about? Likes of Ayatiku, Saraki, uh, Dino Milaye, they've changed the rapper, they've changed the parties as if you are changing rapper. So what are we talking about? Do they have a integrity? Do they have a ideology in the first place? You see the way they all of them are amassing wealth here and there. Do they have anything different? If it is not favoring them, they begin to speak like sensible people but as soon as they are eating they will not see anything is it the same people so the other thing is just somehow even when some people form another party now at the end of the day the same the same the same they will follow the same the same line they will tow the same line and all of us will still be crying and the question people will not be asking okay if you say this one is not good this one is not good this one is not good then where are we going to start from who are the real people with genuine mind or mindset that will do the right thing, you know. <laughs> All of us we need to answer ourselves that question because the way we have been, we are what we have experienced in this country is discouraging. It's discouraging. You don't even know who to trust. Even those who will be who will be shouting this and this and this and that, once they have something in their hands that maybe they are part of the uh, system, the the current system or the current regime, they turn to something else. They become demigods. They will not say anything. And I always. Make this a uh, analogy. The same man, this uh, first was Kiyamu, just try to reason it in your heart that uh, if this man, I think this man was not part of this uh, AC or maybe he's not in this in this party, do you think he would have kept quiet and not say anything? You, you think so? But here we are. The other day, Onoche Ono 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 was thanking the army, saying that uh, what they did this and that at uh, Leki, oh, they acted professionally. That's what you are going to be hearing. And somebody now, Ask her that if really you are not part of this system, in your conscience, will you be, will you be supporting what you are saying, or will you be saying what you are saying? Well, so guys, let's say your own opinion concerning what Reno has said.